Hey everyone, Everyday Truth. So, God, I don't even know how to put into words what I want to talk about today. I have been in conversations that have been so moving and powerful the last couple weeks that it, it, it's almost as if the emotion that it helps build in me is not something you can put into words. It's such a powerful emotion. And, and I'm talking about this today because what I'm learning through going through transition is there are there is power in the ability to believe in your self-worth. There is power in the ability to change. There's power in the ability to grow. And the word becoming has been this almost grounding word. I end up saying it in so many different situations, but this idea that I am becoming someone else, someone I'm supposed to be, someone I wasn't, all of the all of them apply, really. But even in my art, and if you haven't seen my latest art and you're just familiar with my earlier work, I have been working in this series of art called the O series that has been so much a part of my becoming. I literally stood in front of a canvas, had all this angst, I couldn't get this piece right, and then something switched. It was like this comfort, this peace, this this warmth, and I just picked up this catalyst tool and I started painting. And when I was done, I didn't even know how I did it. This idea of becoming is that idea of channeling something so deep inside of you, that vulnerability, that fear, because that fear is sometimes what keeps us from taking the risk. And if you can push through that fear and just come out on the other side of that risk, that's the becoming. That idea of putting the vulnerability on the canvas, talking to you on a video is this idea that we all share this, I think we all share, and maybe it's just women, maybe it's just artists, we all share that feeling of not feeling worthy, or if we do something that's different, maybe people won't like us. If we buck the system, will we be able to survive what happens? And that idea even of survival, that idea of becoming is something that really is where I'm at. I'm sitting in this moment of take the leap, do it. Maybe I take 20 risks and only five of them pan out. That is so much worth the risk taking because those 15 ones that didn't pan out might be the things that take me to the 21st one. I might be just babbling now, but I feel like I did this webinar last night. It was my first time solo run. I am taking my control of me back. I'm not following anybody else's rules and maybe I'll fail. Maybe I won't be up here when I do things on my own, but I'm gonna start down here and I am gonna keep going until I get to where I feel like it's organically who I am. And I don't know why I told you that, but I will just say it was powerful. There were hundreds of women in this webinar. And yeah, again, it's free. And maybe that's not the reason why people came to the webinar, but people, women that were in this webinar were like almost cheering me on. It was like, it was like a pep rally of Hey, thanks for sharing. Thanks for being vulnerable. And I think we need to do more of that. I think that it's not just in an art lesson. I think the idea of building a community, the idea that the community is greater than the individual is, I, I got chills. I got chills. Is, is so powerful in this idea of becoming. And I want to be so much a part of building the community to other people. There is no such thing as no broken people. We all come with our own little bits of broken. Some are more jagged than others. Some are more smooth around the edges. But this idea in building a community of artists who share, I think art is something to be shared. Art is something that's powerful. It can be gifted. It can be received. I think that idea is something that um, right now where I am is lifting me up. It's giving me the worth. And yeah, I don't need something probably to tell me I'm worthy, but it sure feels good when you believe it and it is almost your 
momentum into the next thing. So I'm not sure if today was so much an everyday truth as much as a random blathering, but I feel like if I'm feeling this, there's got to be other people out there in their art journey. Maybe they're lost in their life. Maybe they're going through a trauma. Maybe they've lost someone they've loved. Maybe just there's such a transition in their life and something happens that makes them feel not worthy or afraid or fearful of taking the risk. And it doesn't even have to be art related. This is nothing, it, th those feelings aren't art related, but in the art community, we have this ability to speak this language, to share art. We have this ability to say art. We, we speak art, we, we emote art, we visually represent art in ways that can really touch the lives of others around us, even if it's just in the sharing or the watching or the, the creating. So um, this everyday truth is about really just communicating that I feel like you're worthy. I feel like we're all worthy. I feel like we all need to believe that we are worthy. Whatever that worthy might be, whatever form it might take, there's power. There's power in that gift of believing, that gift of becoming. And I want to share in that with you, the idea of this community propelling each other into wherever the next step we might have to take, whether it's a risk, maybe it's a fear, or maybe it's just we're going with confidence that we're never alone. alone. We never take that step alone. And um, I'm grateful what this community has gifted me both personally and professionally and um, reach out, make yourself vulnerable. Go to the canvas today and do something that maybe isn't going to be the most successful thing you've ever done because you're leaving that vulnerability in that space or you're releasing that vulnerability into another space. So um, yeah, I leave it today with believing that we're all worthy and that voice is powerful.